Hi guys, welcome to homework day two. So for this one we're going to go over pages seven and eight. So number one, it's asking for the standard temperature. And so we know our standard temperature is either zero degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin. For number two, it wants the standard pressure, and so that would be one atmosphere. All right, for numbers three through six, I'm not going to go over. However, you should have this in your notes under temperature conversions. So just quick review. If you're going from degrees Celsius to Kelvin, you add 273. And if you're going from Kelvin to degrees Celsius, you subtract 273. Okay, so we're just going to move on to our ideal gas law problems. And so the first one I'm going to do is number six. All right, so number six says, how many moles of chlorine gas would occupy a volume of 35.5 liters at a pressure of 0 0.98 atmospheres and a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius? So what I like to do is list out my givens. And so we have pressure, which is equal to 0 0.98 atmospheres. Volume, that is equal to 35.5 liters. Temperature is equal to 100 degrees Celsius. And then remember we have to add 273 to get our answer in Kelvin. And so that ends up being 373. N is what we are solving for. And then there's R, which is always 0 0.0821. Okay, that is our constant. All right, and so we're using the formula that PV is equal to NRT. And I'm trying to solve for N, and so what I need to do is get N by itself. And so the way I do so is I just divide both sides by RT. Okay, and so R and T cancels on the right side. And so we are left with N is equal to PV divided by RT as our formula. Now we can just go ahead and plug in our numbers. Okay, so N is equal to 0.98 times 35.5 divided by 0 0.0821 times 373. Alright, so we're just going to plug this into our calculator. So we have 0.98 times 35.5 divided by 0 0.0821 times 373. And I end up with N is equal to 1.14 moles. Okay, just go ahead and box in or circle your final answer. All right, next one we're going to do is number eight. And so number eight says to calculate the volume which 1.25 moles of the gas occupies at STP. Okay, so STP stands for our standard temperature and pressure. And so our standard pressure would be one atmosphere. My volume is what I'm trying to find temperature, so our standard temperature is 273 Kelvin. My number of moles is 1.25 and R is always 0 0.0821. That is my constant. Okay, so I have the formula that PV is equal to NRT. I'm trying to solve for volume, so I need to get V by itself and I do so by dividing both sides by P and so the P's cancel on the left side. Okay, so I have V is equal to NRT divided by P 
And then I can just go ahead and plug in my numbers to the formula. So V is equal to 1.25 times 0 0.0821 times 273, all divided by 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that into our calculator. 1.25 times 0 0.0821 times 273. And we end up with V is equal to 28 liters. Okay, and just box in or circle your final answer. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it onto the back for page 8. And we're going to start with number 9. So number 9 says, what temperature in Kelvin would 0.5 moles of carbon dioxide occupy 25 liters in a pressure of 98, 0.98 atmospheres? All right, so let's list out what we are given. So P is equal to 0 0.98 atmospheres. V is equal to 25 liters. T is what I'm solving for. N is equal to 0.5 moles. And R is always 0 0.0821. Okay, that is my constant. Okay, so PV is equal to NRT. And I'm trying to find temperature, so I need to figure out what do I need to divide both sides by to get P by itself. And so T is here, so I need to divide both sides by NR. So Ns cancel, Rs cancel on the right side, and so I'm left with T is equal to, ah, give me one moment. So T is equal to PV divided by N R. Right? So T is equal to zero point nine eight times twenty five divided by point five times zero point zero eight two one. Okay, we can go ahead and put that into our calculator. So we have point nine eight times 25 divided by 0 0.5 times 0 0.0821. And we end up with 596. And our units would be Kelvin. Okay, so T is equal to 596 Kelvin. So let's go ahead and go on to number 12. So number 12 says, what pressure in atmospheres would a sample of gas have when 10 liters contains 0.1 mole of the gas at 500 Kelvin? Okay, so pressure is what I'm solving for. My volume is 10 liters. My temperature is 500 Kelvin. My N, so number of moles of a gas, is 0.1 moles. And my R is always 0 0.0821, because that is constant. So we have PV is equal to NRT. And I need to get P by itself, so we divide both sides by V. All right, and so we are left with P is equal to NRT divided by V. And now we can just go ahead and plug in numbers to our formula. So P is equal to 1 mole times, I mean, 0 0.1 mole times 0 0.0821 times 500. And we divide all of that by 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that into our calculator. So, 0.1 mole times 
0821 times 500 divided by 10. Okay, and I got P is equal to 0 0.4 and our units would be atmospheres. Alright guys, so the last one I'm going to do is number 14. And so number 14 says a 2.58 liter container holds 0.52 moles of carbon dioxide at a pressure of 4.25 atmospheres. What pressure Oh, what must be the temperature of this gas in Kelvin? Alright, so let's go ahead and list what we are given. So pressure is 4.25 atmospheres. My volume is 2.58 liters. My temperature is what I'm trying to find, so it's what I'm going to solve for. My number of moles of gas is 0 0.52 moles, and R is always 0 0.0821. Alright, so we have PV is equal to NRT, and I need to solve for T. So I'm going to divide both sides by NR. Okay, so I have then T is equal to PV divided by NR. So now I can go ahead and plug in numbers into the formula. So 4.25 times 2.58 divided by 0.52 times our constant, which is 0 0.0821. Alright, let's go ahead and plug this into our calculator. So we have 4.25 times 2.58, and then we divide our answer by 0 0.52 times 0 0.0821. Okay, and I end up with T is equal to 257 Kelvin. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do number 15, um, just so we can have more practice with solving for N, which is most of the gas. So 15 says, a welder's acetylene tank has a volume of 1.75 liters. It is stored at a temperature of 23.24 degrees Celsius and has a pressure of 75.6 atmospheres. So how many moles of acetylene are in the tank? So let's list out our given. So my pressure is 75.6 atmospheres. My volume is going to be 1.75 liters. My temperature is 23.24 degrees Celsius. But remember, we need to convert that into Kelvin. And so you add 273. And so 23.24 plus 273 gets us 296.24 Kelvin. My number of moles is what I'm solving for, and R is always equal to 0 0.0821. Alright, so my formula is PV is equal to NRT. I need to get N by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by RT. And so I'm left with N is equal to PV divided by RT. Okay, so I have 75.6 times 
times 1.75 divided by 0 0.0821 times 296.24. So 75.6 times 1.75 divided by 0 0.0821 times 296.24. Okay, and I end up with 5.44 moles. So N is equal to 5.44 moles of gas.